What would this possibly represent on a child's MRI of their brain? A mom brought her three-year-old child to the emergency room because she hasn't been able to hold down food for a few days. Stomach bug has been going around in her preschool class, but this seemed different to the mom. She noticed that her baby was clutching her head and seemed to have a headache. In addition to that, she noticed that she wasn't walking quite right, like she was off balance or something. And she's actually had a few falls. The baby's also been pretty lethargic and taking a lot of naps. So a CT scan was done in the pediatric ER that prompted an MRI scan. Performing an MRI on a child was not an easy feat, therefore it had to be done under sedation. Here are the axial cuts of the posterior fossa that cuts through the lesion and shows some features that are very classic. So what's the differential diagnosis here and what's the next step of treatment? Are there any additional tests that we need to perform before going to surgery? Stay tuned tomorrow and I'll explain the whole case for